Hello guys, today I am going to show you how you can create simple JSP programs and what essential things you should need to run a JSP program. Ok, as we know JSP is Java server pages so you need to install Java in your machine at first. To download Java you have to go to this link. This link is given in the description below. At this page you have to download for Windows 32 bit from this link the JDK 8 version and for Windows 64 bit machines you have to download from this link JDK 8 version. So after a successful Java download you have to again download the NetBeans software, the NetBeans IDE. So you have to go to this page, the link is again given in the description below. So after opening this page you have to download the NetBeans IDE software from this link. This will download the NetBeans version of GlassFee server and Apache Tomcat server both by default in it. So I assume that you have download this both softwares then you have to install the JDK version 8 at first. After your su successful installation you have to set the environmental variables and the Java path for creating Java files. So to create Java path settings, you have to go to My Computer, right click on its properties, right click on its properties, then go to Advanced System Settings, click on Environmental Variables option, then go to the Path section. Okay, now you have to browse to your My Computer, go to Local Disk C, here go to the program files folder, open the java folder. Here you can find after a successful installation of JDK, two folders have been created JDK 1.7 and JDK JRE 7. You need to copy this URL for the JDK and to copy this URL for the JRE and paste it to the path section of your environmental variables like this. I have already pasted the paths for my Java programs. So this will successfully edit your environmental variable path for your Java programs. Now click OK, click OK, then click OK. After the completion of successful path settings, you have to go to the NetBeans installation. After you have successfully installed the NetBeans and remember that you have to check the Apache Tomcat settings at the time of installations. So now we are going to create a JSP file. So click on the file option from the menu bar. Then <coughs> click on the new project option. Here you have to select Java Web and from project session web application. Here you have to give a project name, a project location, you have to browse for your correct path. My by default path is this URL. Now you have to select your folder. After checking all these things you have to click on next then select the server the by default server is Apache Tomcat so let it be then click on next don't click anything here just click on finish now your web application project is here and your file is here you can delete these things, these lines. Now, it is a by default index.jsp file having no codes of any JSP program. So, it is an, uh, basically a HTML file. You know HTML files starting with HTML tag, then head and body part, in head part, the title part, then body part. So, it is basically an a HTML program. So, here we have to write a JSP code 
mean a java code so to write a java code you have to start with angular bracket then uh, percentage sign out dot print line hello world finish this with a semicolon finish the tag with where is person going now this line this is a pure java line you know that out is the object of system class and print line is the method to print a line now i am going to print hello world option in our output page to run this jsp program we have to start the server the server is here the apache tomcat server you have to go to services tab under the servers option then here you have to start the apache tomcat server remember that glassfi server is also the by default server of netbeans id you have to check that apache tomcat server is installing at the time of netbeans installation or not after starting the apache tomcat server you can now run this file to run the file you have to go at first this option make your browser as chrome or whatever you are using like mozilla firefox or opera it will show here then click on the run button see after the clicking the run button your file is getting ready and it's your output hello world now this is hello world is creating from this h1 tag and now you are printing hello world with java code so this is your output hello world so successfully the jsp code has been created and it ran basically if this java code can run easily then any other java codes can run easily with this kind of procedure so this angular bracket percentile out dot printer in hello world semicolon percentile angular bracket close started to run in your browser then you have to run it successfully as if that the code ran well any other java code can run also so thank you guys if you like this video then please give a like and also subscribe to our channel for more coding related videos bye